full circle attracts models and Hollywood types. Keegan isn't the only hottie in full circle. A vulture reporter noticed that his followers include a ring of 50 or so beings, many of whom are young, beautiful women. A vice writer interviewed Full Circle member staff who constantly name-dropped Victoria's secret models and actors he befriended in his ventures. He reportedly was also childhood BFF with Keegan's 10 Things I Hate About You co-star Heath Ledger. Keegan's teen fame has allowed him to garner more publicity for Full Circle. Full Circle almost lost its headquarters, the Rose Temple. Full Circle almost lost its historic Venice Beach location due to an inability to meet the hike in rent. This was when the organization started selling Rose Courts for funds. Keegan explained the initial financial difficulties Full Circle experienced in part due to negative press. Within our first six months, our building was sold, and our rent increased right around the same time that our work was completely mischaracterized in the press. Surrendering to a power higher than myself, the funds came in from a donor that allowed us to keep going. We've faced financial hardship from the moment our doors opened and have been treading water month by month to keep this little church accessible and open. Keegan attributes the kindness of donators, as well as the commitment of followers, to Full Circle's continued success and accessibility. After a temporary closing and some rebranding, Full Circle rebounded from hardships. Keegan consciously wanted to get away from mid-level teen fame. Keegan didn't relish the teen heartthrob status he received in the late 1990s and early 2000s from movies like 10 Things I Hate About You and O as well as popular TV series like 7th Heaven and Party of Five. His teen magazine, Pictorials, he told Vulture in a 2015 interview, Maybe one day I'll make a friend at Google, and they can all be taken off the internet. He continues, explaining how the public embraced him one-dimensionally, back then, I'd be at a mall, and a traveling soccer team of girls would run up and be like, I love you. Anonymity was an almost impossible experience. Full Circle allowed Keegan to expand his spiritual pursuits and get away from his previous image to reinvent himself entirely. Keegan has since made headlines for his community-driven service. They focus on positive vibes and love. Keegan says Full Circle is all about the love. He doesn't like to think of love in terms of the past tense, posing the question that supports Full Circle's mission. Can't we just always love each other and everybody in the world? Promoting positivity and good energy in all formats is a key tenet of Full Circle practices. Keegan told ABC, it's positivity, it's doing good. It's a smile, it's a hug. If you do things with a place of love you will feel good and it's an energy exchange. It's being one with the environment, one with each other. The open source spiritual community, as Keegan calls the group, has presented over 900 events since 2014 to promote vibrations of love and togetherness. Full Circle combines values of spiritual wellness and Hinduism. Full Circle is a mashup of lots of different belief systems. It espouses the use of crystals for healing and prayer typical of many New Age movements, especially those in Los Angeles. Also, it co-opts Hindu deities like Ganesh, the god of wisdom and entrances, for its own uses. A 2015 Vulture article explains how Full Circle encompasses an ambiguous culmination of religions. The actual theology of the group is tough to pin down, 
but it seems to loosely follow Hinduism, or at least Russell Brand's Sanskrit tattoo version of it. Keegan, who is often referred to as a guru, promotes organic experiences within the temple, explaining how each prayer service isn't cookie cutter. Services may incorporate hand holding, group meditation, spooning, crystals, candles, soul medicine, and even a didgeridoo. And one attendee began masturbating during the service, Keegan politely redirected the man's energy to a private location. Keegan began to believe after the Occupy movement started. After the Occupy Wall Street movement kicked off in 2011, it quickly spread across the country. One branch landed in Venice, California, where Keegan wanted to help spread the love. In a 2017 interview with Voyage LA, Keegan explains how he saw a need within the artistic Southern California community. A few years prior, things in my life seemed to be falling apart, and I found myself on the streets helping start the Occupy Venice movement. I recognized our local artists' desire to form a heart-centered community. After that, he got together with like-minded people to, to provide a safe space for people to gather and connect. Although the colorful temple in Venice has opened full circle to challenges involving gentrification and lawsuits, Keegan maintains that the group has achieved victory in co-creating a world with more love within Venice Beach. Inner Circle members believe Keegan is a vortex that summons followers. When a journalist visited Full Circle, a member called Third I discussed Keegan's mystical powers and the workings of the spiritual community. Inner Circle consisted of eight Full Circle members deemed sufficiently enlightened. These eight were those closest to Keegan and believed Keegan summoned attendees through a vortex he created with his unique energy. In 2014, Keegan co-founded the spiritual community with Gunnar Goddard, whose father established the original tenets of Full Circle in the 1960s. Robert Goddard's aim was to make energetic progress, similar to Keegan's promotion of cultural and spiritual transformation. Trippy moving crystals led Keegan to believe that time is a circle. Keegan started Full Circle after getting mugged in 2001, a traumatic event which, according to Keegan, just so happened to correlate with the tsunami affecting Japan. Reportedly, he then experienced some trippy visions that led him down the New Age path. In the Vice interview, Keegan describes his enlightenment and transformation. I had a moment where I was looking at a street lamp and it exploded. That was a weird coincidence. It's, it's. At a ceremony, a heart-shaped rose quartz crystal was on the altar, and synchronistically, it's a long story, but basically the crystal jumped off the altar and skipped on camera. That was weird. The weird lack of a time gap on film led Keegan to believe in a concept called synchronicity, the idea that there isn't really a past, present, or future. Full Circle sold crystals to stop from going broke. Full Circle sold crystals to stop from going broke. The temple has a communal pet parrot named Krishna. The temple has a communal pet parrot named Krishna. Members meditate using water crystals to solve the Middle East crisis. Members meditate using water crystals to solve the Middle East crisis. Full Circle got busted for serving illegal kombucha. Full Circle got busted for serving illegal kombucha. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and like and comment down below and also thank you so much for watching and i look forward to see you in the next video then take care
Bye.